I've been using Leonardo AI for the past few weeks as I'm trying to find the best alternatives to mid journey. And in this video, I'll be covering the benefits of using Leonardo AI for creating coloring books. Now I've been taking the time to look through different text to image tools and Leonardo AI definitely has some unique features that sets itself apart from other tools. And especially if you're a beginner, you'll like the fact that Leonardo AI is actually on a website rather than being on Discord where it can be quite messy for somebody just starting out. I actually really like the layout of this website. I think it's really easy to use and understand. Now what Leonardo is best known for is actually creating a game assets and concept art but this video will specifically be on coloring books. Now getting on to explain the homepage, the first thing you will see is the featured models. Now this is a unique feature that allows you to select one of the models closest to the style that you want to generate. This is very beginner friendly as you don't have to struggle to come up with a particular style, but you can use one of the models. So the model I like to use the most is Leonardo Diffusion. So you can just click on that. Then you can have a read through the description. You can also take a look at images created with this model and if it's something that you like then you can just click generate with this model but I'll take you through image generation a little bit later then lower down you can see the recent creations so we've got an option to see what's trending what's newly been created and what's top so some of the best things that people have liked and has been created using Leonardo AI and you've got an option to see all or game assets so if you are on a free plan then your images are public and anybody can see them so let's say people are able to find your image in the new and they start to like it then it could potentially become trending and down the line it could eventually become one of the top images if you're thinking about selling your images then that's probably something that you won't want to happen so what I would recommend is actually deleting your image if you're on the free plan or going on to one of the paid subscriptions that will provide you with private mode. But here what we can do is type in coloring pages just to take a look at some of the images that users have created. Then you can actually take a scroll through and any particular image that you do like, you'll be provided with a few options. Now again, if you are doing this, I wouldn't recommend taking anybody's image and copying it. We want to create unique work that will make our work stand out on Amazon at KDP. But there's nothing wrong being inspired by somebody's work and looking at ideas from their prompt. You can also see what model the image was generated with so that you get a better idea of the best models to use for coloring books. So going through the left-hand grid, there's quite a few options here. Just under home, we've got community feed. And again, you can take a look at all the designs created by the community and you can search for any particular thing you're looking for. Next, we've got the personal feed. So you can take a look Look at the designs that you have already created. After this, we've got training and data sets. And another thing which makes Leonardo AI really unique is that train and create a particular model. And this will allow you to easily generate images based on the style that you're looking for. And I'll show you that a little bit later. Then we've also got fine tuned models. So again, you can use any of these to base your image on. You also got you also have community models. So these were created by users in the community and you can take a look through them and use any particular model of your interest. Then the next section is the user tools. And the first is the AI image generation, which is where you're going to be creating all of your images. Then we've got the AI canvas and this will allow you to actually edit your AI image. Then we've got texture generation. So that's mostly for 3D models. So we won't be focusing on that on our video. Then you've got settings and FAQ and help. So the first part I want to go into a little bit more is the training and data sets. Now this will allow you to easily generate images based on the style that you're looking for. So in this instance, what I did was go into Creative Fabrica and download some Mandala coloring pages just to test it out and to be able to have my own model where I could create Mandala coloring pages. So to test this out, all you need to do is click on new data set and then you need to enter a name and description for the data set. Then you click create data set. Next, you can start to upload your images. So I uploaded about 40 Mandala coloring pages. I think the more, the better. And as soon as all those have been uploaded, then you're gonna have the option to click train model. 
and you will see some of these settings come up and most of these are just down to your personal preference so you can choose your training resolution category the base model it usually recommends stable diffusion 1.5 and then an instance prompt and here you're just describing your image in two to three words I've actually use this up on the free plan as i think you're only able to create one to two models a month but it will reset in 22 days and once you click start training leonardo will go away and train the model and as soon as it's completed then you'll get an email notification you that your model is ready. So to start generating your images, make sure you go to the AI image generation. And once that loads, you'll be taken to this screen. And if you look in the far left hand corner, you're actually going to be able to see how many tokens you have left. So the way Leonardo AI works is that you have a certain limit of tokens and each time you generate an image or upscale this will actually use up a certain number of tokens so if you're on the free version you only have 150 tokens to use a day and then it actually resets at the end of each day you really need to be aware of how many tokens you're using each time you generate an image and on the free version, you're actually able to generate a maximum of four images. And the next part is prompt magic. And this actually allows you to have better prompt adherence. So turning this on will allow the image to be much closer to your prompt. Now I didn't have this, but this will allow you to adjust the strength, but it's something you might want to test out if you're not getting the images that you want. After this, we have the image dimension. So you can choose the best dimensions for your image. I went with 768 by 1024 for coloring page images. Then we've got the guidance scale after this. And this allows you to adjust how strongly your prompt is weighted, but I usually just leave this on seven. After we have control net, and this allows you to influence your generations with input images. However, this currently works only with models derived from a stable diffusion 1.5. And next we have tiling, and you can turn this on if you want repeated patterns and backgrounds. Finally, you've got image to image and that just allows you to use an image as a reference, but you still have to type in the prompt. And then you've, you've also got image prompt and that allows you to use an existing image to describe how the generations should look. And with either one, you just need to upload or you can drag and drop the image into here. So at the top, this is where you're going to be able to type in your prompt. And then just underneath, you can choose the model that you want to use. So if you want to use the custom model that you've already made, you just can select that at the bottom and then you just click view and then you can generate with that model and then I'll actually save it there. So if you ever want to generate a specific image with that model, then it's already saved there at the top. So you can see Mandala coloring pages. Then you can choose if you want Leonardo style or none. I always go with Leonardo style. And if you want to add a negative prompt, you just turn that on. And this allows you to tell Leonardo what you don't want to see within the image. Then you've got generate on the right hand side. And as soon as you click that, it will generate your image. Now, depending on the number of images that you use and also the model that will depend on how many tokens you use up. So in this instance, we're using four images and the Leonardo Diffusion model, and that's gonna use up five tokens. However, if I decrease that down to two images, you can see that goes down to three tokens. So especially if you're on the free plan, just be wise with how many tokens you use because you only have a certain limit each day. Another awesome feature of Leonardo is this prompt generation. So if you are struggling to come up with prompts, then you can choose the number of prompts that you want to generate. You've got two, four, six, eight, and so on. And you have a sizable amount that you can use Use. you can see here I've, I've still got 978 prompts remaining so let's say I type in a lion coloring page and I choose six prompts to generate and I just click ideate here and then it's going to come up with six different ideas for me again this isn't always perfect you can see only one of them actually include the word coloring page but you can get a lot of ideas from this in order to add to your prompt then for any particular prompt that you do like just copy it and then go back to image generation paste it in the type of prompt 
make sure you choose the model that you want and then you can click generate and it will come up with the amount of images that you've chosen. So let's quickly go to my personal feed and just take a look at some of the coloring pages that we've generated. So at the bottom we can see some mandala pages, then we've got some owl coloring pages that look really really good. We've got a golden retriever coloring page, we've got some birds, we've got a lion portrait and then at the top we've got some more mandala pages. So there are definitely some quality coloring pages here however there's others really aren't any great at all and that just really depends on the model that you use. Now going back to the AI generation tool we can take a look at these owl coloring pages sitting on a branch so that was the prompt and then we can see that the model that we've used is Leonardo Diffusion and that's Leonardo style and there's four images here. Now these came out quite well however the first and the third image have a black background so what I did in the next image prompt was to put in a negative prompt for black background and that got rid of the black background in these images as you can see here. Then I tried it with the golden retriever sitting and it came up with some really good images again with Leonardo Diffusion. And taking a look further up, you can see we've got some birds on a branch coloring page and these came out quite good apart from the fourth one, but sometimes AI does generate some strange images. Going further up, we've got a lion kind of portrait coloring page and this came out quite blue for some reasons. I used the image prompt generation tool to provide me with this prompt. So then in the next part, what I decided to do was to include white background within the main prompt and this came out much better. However, I noticed that some of the image, especially two and four were still quite blue. So again, in the next prompt, what I did was include blue background within the negative prompt and these all came out really good and that's sometimes what you're going to have to do with prompts generating it's not going to come up with the perfect image every time you might have to just add a few things and mess about with a few things here and there now in terms of the front cover for the coloring book i took out the words coloring page as I didn't want it to be black and white and actually added in the words colorful just so I could get an interesting image as the front cover. And it was actually number three that I particularly liked the most and will use as a front cover. Now these mandala coloring pages were actually created using my own model, the mandala coloring page. And you can see the an example of the coloring pages that I uploaded and how they turned out. Now I wasn't too impressed with these, but I'll still try and train another model and see how that turns out. So don't be afraid to test Leonardo out but I'll definitely stick with the model Leonardo Diffusion as I tested out the others and they just weren't good enough specifically for coloring pages and to complete your coloring book I would at least have 20 images. Make sure the images that you do use are upscaled so there's actually quite a few options within Leonardo to upscale an image and if you go into the image you can see quite a few different options to choose from. So at the top we've got Got creative upscale and it says this can improve images during the upscaling process but it will cost you five tokens then to the left hand side you've got HD smooth upscale so this is an upscaler that works well with a focused subject but can end up smoothing out fine detail and again costing you five tokens in the middle we've got the upscale image alternate and you can use this if you find a creative upscale that is resulting in a loss of detail and and again, this is costing you five tokens. On the right hand side, we've got the use for image to image, which you won't need right now. Then at the bottom, we've got HD crisp upscale. And this is a great balanced upscaler, which retains a good amount of detail with crispiness to the image. And again, that's five tokens. Then we also have an option to remove the background. This will cost you two tokens. And to the left, we've got in unzoom image, which will cost you five tokens. And to the right, we've got edit in canvas which I'll show you a little bit later. So the two biggest issues that I had with upscaling in Leonardo is one that it does cost quite a few tokens to upscale only one image and think about it with a coloring book we are using a minimum of 20 images so 20 times 5 you're at least using a minimum of 100 tokens and this is just not going to be enough especially if you are using the free plan. 
because you also need to generate the images in the first place. And then the second point is, even when you do upscale these images in Leonardo, they will still need to be upscaled within an external website as coloring pages do have a lot of intricate details. And I found if you upscale it in Leonardo and using an external tool, then the files just become way too big. So that's why I would avoid upscaling in Leonardo for coloring books. The actual website that I would recommend that you upscale your images in is bigjpg.com. It has very low cost and affordable plans, which you can see here. You can also try it and just test it out on the free plan so they, there's no commitment. But then as soon as you're happy with it, you can actually batch upload your images and you just click select and choose all the images you wanna upload, then just click start. Make sure you choose at least four times upscaling as eight and 16 times the files become way too big. And then you can just go down to enlarge all images below. And once that's finished, then click download. Now I quickly wanted to show you the difference between both images that have been upscaled. So on the left hand side, we've got the image that's been upscaled in Leonardo AI using the HD crisp. And on the right hand side, we've got the image that's been upscaled using bigjpg.com. Now you can see when we zoom in on the left hand side that it begins to lose some detail whereas on the right hand side you can see how crisp and detailed the image stays so that's the importance of using bigjpg.com as we want to give the buyer the best coloring experience Another awesome tool Leonardo AI has is the AI canvas editor and once we enter it we're provided with a few options on the left and right hand side on the left hand side we have firstly the pan tool and this will allow you to move the image around then underneath we've got the snap tool then underneath that we've got draw a mask we've got erase we've got upload image and then underneath that we've got download and undo and redo in the middle we've got where we can enter our prompt and then to the right hand side we've got image dimensions and a few other options to start off we can upload our image then use the pan tool to move the image around to where we want and then we can also use the zoom up at the top to help us see the image a lot better next what we need to do is the image is a lot larger than the box so what we can do is click on the snap tool and then change the image dimensions to 768 by 1024 as that's the coloring page size and then just rearrange it so everything aligns properly now one thing i've noticed on this image is that the branch doesn't go all the way to the edge so what i'm going to do is use the draw mask tool and you can increase the size of it and i'm going to go to the area and then i'm going to draw over that specific area that i want to make a change then we can just go down to the bottom where it has the prompt and then we type in what we want so then i just put in expand branch then i'll click generate give it a moment and once it's done, it will provide you with four different options. Now this does cost five tokens, and then you can scroll across just to see which one that you like the most. And I was happy with three, it looked most similar to the image, and then just click accept. And once you're happy with everything, then you can download your image. So I'm gonna take a look at the terms and conditions so you understand what you are able to do with Leonardo AI. And, and it's fantastic that it does state that you own all the content you generate using the platform, and that yes, you can use the image is generated by the platform for commercial purposes and this applies to images created by free users too so this is a great option for those who aren't able to commit to a subscription right now but taking a look at their subscriptions you can see if you're paying monthly you've got a $12 a month with some great options you've got a $30 a month with even more great options and then the $60 a month plan for those who need it. Now the main benefits of being on a subscription is that you're able to do a lot more pending jobs, that you also have private generations as well, so nobody can see what you're designing, then you've also got priority infrastructure as well. And then with the higher plans, you've got relaxed generation queue also. So take a look and consider what plan you wanna go on, or if you wanna to subscribe to, the year, to a yearly plan, then you get 20% off, so you can just take a look through those. And if Leonardo AI is something that you want to sign up to then you just need to go to their website and then put your email in then you get access to their discord and then make sure you go down to priority early access then you just need to fill out a form once you've submitted the form then in the next few days they'll get back to you and give you access to Leonardo AI. So to finish off this, I just wanted to show you how the coloring book turned out using a book bolt. So you can see that's the cover I used, then just a simple title and subtitle, and I've got the images on the back cover. 
Then on the title page, I've just got a coloring page image with again, the title subtitle, then always leave the next page blank and then have your next coloring image on the next page after that, then leave it blank again and then have your coloring image. So it's just following that process and make sure you have at least 20 images in your coloring book. Then once you're happy with everything, just go to download and make sure you download it as a CMYK as that's best for printed books. Now, if you want a full step-by-step -step process of creating a coloring book from research all the way to uploading to Amazon KDP, then I recommend watching this video where I talk about creating coloring books with BookBolt. It's by far the best all-in-one and beginner-friendly tool for creating books with Amazon KDP. So thanks for watching another video and let me know what you think about Leonardo AI.